Joe YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the Radar for Wrestling Studios. What up, Mox? Guys, Monday Night Raw, we got two takeaways from the show. Post Survivor Series episode of Monday Night Raw. And it wasn't all that great, uh, to be it honest with you. Sucked the butt. It yeah, sucked the butt. No Drew McIntyre on the show. We had a couple. We had one funny thing really go down. Uh, a really funny choice of words used by Adam Pierce in the backstage yep. area. We had um, a wrestler eventually get suspended for what he did to Adam Pierce in this event as well. Interesting things going on in the Firefly Funhouse. Uh, the Fiend setting his sights on Randy Orton, not the WWE Championship. So, got a lot to get into. We got two takeaways from the show, but before we do, I want to remind you guys, you like this video, you're enjoying the video, you're enjoying the channel, all the content we're bringing to you guys, smash that like button on these videos, this video and previous ones. Hit the subscribe button if you're watching this video, you're not subscribed to the channel. The notification bell to get alerted when new videos drop, just like this one and the previous ones that have dropped. Also, follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, all the same handles. Then in the description section below, you got links. Amazon links. Click on that. Click on that. Shop through Amazon. Kicks back towards the channel. Fight TV. Watch pay per views. Order stuff there. Kicks back towards the channel. Honor Club. Sign up to the Honor Club for Ring of Honor stuff. Kicks back towards the channel. Highspots.com. Purchase any type of wrestling merchandise you guys want. Whatever your heart desires. Kicks back towards the channel. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let's get right into it. Two takeaways from Monday Night Raw. And Monday Night Raw started off with Team Raw, with Team Raw in the ring with Adam Pierce in the middle. Uh, way to start off, man. Yeah, what just a talking about off. a celebration. It's kind of a celebration of Team Raw clean sweeping SmackDown, which is an interesting choice for them to do that. But they did it in the ring, and then they all start bickering again, is because you know they don't want to acknowledge AJ as their as their captain, and they're all having issues with each other. And Matt Riddle's contribution here was absolutely terrible. Dope. All the stuff they're feeding him to say Dope. is absolutely terrible. Dope. Then. They all, Adam Pierce says they all have to make their cases to become or have a, cha a championship match against Drew McIntyre because they all, because none of them got eliminated. They all deserve a shot, so they all got to make their cases for it. Then this leads to takeaway number one, and it is Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman says he doesn't have to make a case. He yokes up Adam Pierce, grabs him by his, you know, suit collar, yanks him around, and then headbutts him, knocking him out. Everybody's upset by this. It's takeaway number one, why Strowman did this. He would eventually get suspended indefinitely by WWE for this. So I guess he has something of importance to do outside of the ring as to why they did this to him. I mean, it has to be. It has to be. It only makes only sense, right? Because why else would he Why else would he not be there? Then you have Adam Pearce in the back being approached by Bobby Lashley and Randy Orton because they all have, you know, gripes towards why they should be in the championship uh, picture. And in this instance, he has one hell of a fumble of words and calls Drew McIntyre a Drew McInfart. And a <laughs> Drew McInfart. Even though we all know Vince is down with toilet humor big time. Yes, um This, is. you know, it's a slip of words. But he announces that there will be a series of matches tonight on Monday Night Raw. And those winners, we three winners, they'll face in a triple threat match next week to see who becomes the number one contender for Drew McIntyre's championship. So we'll get into all those matches later on. But that's takeaway. Now, this takeaway number one because Braun Strowman indefinitely suspended. Yeah, uh, it made no sense for him to do anything of what he did of why he went and attacked Pierce. It, just, it didn't. It, it was dumb. Yeah. Everybody else was bickering. He was off to the side, and he came in and just started beating the crap out of Adam Pierce for no apparent reason. So my, the only guess that you came up with was probably the most correct one. He's probably gonna film something or do yeah. something or take time off or whatever. But because it makes absolutely no sense to 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 go through that and just suspend them. Um, and then we got the Drew McFart. That's a new thing. Drew McIntyre. I mean, I, like, is that like? Do you think that's like a, a rib they play in each other in the back that they they, they 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 just have these stupid names and they just kind of let us slip? Maybe that's what happened. But uh, the only thing what, I can assume uh, assume from all this is that he has really bad gas. Drew McIntyre is a guy, one of those guys yeah, likes to yeah, fart yeah, in front of yeah, people yeah, a lot, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. why that came out. Yeah, Scottish Scottish farter, bro. That's yeah. what he is. Drew the farter. Now, nah, mm -hmm. that, that was funny. That was pretty basically the highlight of the night was a Drew McIntyre because this was a pretty dead raw yeah. and. Uh, I mean, hopefully Braun's not gone for too long because, you know, he, he had the abs. He was looking in way, way better shape. I mean, kind of a, a dumb, dumb way to put it, put him on the shelf. Yeah, big time. Uh, yeah, it didn't really make a ton of sense what was going on. The whole segment sucked. Matt Riddle's uh, contributions to all this were terrible. The lines yeah. that they're feeding this man are absolutely horrible. Trash. Yeah, Vince is really playing into the stoner gimmick, and he just wants to keep it going, the goofball stoner. Um, yeah, it's not really all that good, but that was takeaway number no. one. That was the first thing on the show. 
the next thing on the show we had the hurt business run up on the new day in the backstage cedric alexander probably here cuts probably the best promo i've seen him cut in wwe to this date yes he was um talking about how he you know wants the spotlight he wants to be ch tag team champions him and Shelton benjamin and challenging him to a match tonight on monday night raw that match does happen raw tag team championships are on the line new day versus the hurt business um new day get the win here uh it was a long match but it was, i just kind of felt like at this point like why have them uh challenge New Day and talk all that trash and then lose clean it makes no sense. I think should have won and just became champions here. Yeah, and there was like a big clusterfuck in the middle of the match where where, where I don't know, nobody even understood what happened. And then they had to restart the match because uh, yeah. uh, MVP was saying stuff. And then uh, Kofi got hurt, his knee was messed up, so they basically lost twice. Like, well, why would they even bother? You know, having a rematch doesn't make any sense. So yeah. you're kind of hurting the hurt business. It, it, or hurting the hurt business, yeah. But uh, it doesn't really make any sense. That doesn't really push them forward. So yeah, it really doesn't. So bad stuff i think they just they shouldn't have had the match at all or just have the title switch hands yes but one that happened on the show next thing on the show we had riddle going against sheamus in the first matchup to see who gets in that triple threat matchup uh solid match but we've seen this match a bunch of times on smackdown uh previously so you know it, it's back again riddle versus sheamus and riddle gets the win here so he's the first guy to qualify for that triple threat match um we'll see what happens with that he had a stupid segment in the back where he walked up on uh you know mvp and gave him like business ideas terrible segment as well there so there's just bad stuff all around from all night, riddle on the mic next thing on the show we have the firefly funhouse uh bray alexa in there alexa will be taking on nikki cross on Monday Night Raw, so there's just a hype up for that matchup. Yep. Here, you had Bray have Alexa do the transformation where her eyes changed colors, and then she attacked a new um, a, a new member of the Firefly Funhouse that lasted all of one episode. It's yeah. friend, the Friendship Frog gets smashed to bits by Alexa Bliss, so that was cool. Um, yeah, I guess it was it, it was what it was, but it's a little more like weird stuff going on between these I two. I mean, Firefly Funhouse is always fun. It's probably like one of the best segments yeah. on Raw or SmackDown whenever it was. It's, it's usually a pretty good time. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Next thing we had on the show, we had Asuka and Lana going yeah. against Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. This was what it was. Um, yeah, because you obviously know Lana won was Soul Survivor the night before. Survivor Series has issues with Nia Jax. This, all this happened, but, you know, surprisingly, uh, Nia Jax did not throw Lana through a table yeah. tonight. Yeah. So basically nine weeks of, of, uh, of, you know, taking it through the table and then at one time where she didn't. So finally, I mean, things are coming up. Things are coming up. What a waste of use of Asuka, though. I'm not going to lie. Yes. The match was not great. And I hope we don't have to see Asuka and Lana to tag team. Well, this month. may happen, and we may see them at the paper, next pay-per-view. Uh, Asuka t will be TLC in December. It'll be probably Asuka and, and uh, Lana going against Jackson Baser for those tag team championships. Because great. nobody right now stands a chance against Asuka to defeat her yeah. or even challenge her for the Raw Women's Championship. So she's going to hold on to that for a while. Next to be on the show, Keith Lee versus Bobby Lashley. Interesting matchup. Up. It's an interesting matchup. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best match, nice but, you know. Matchup. Terrible. Uh, we could see them eventually go into a feud for the U.S. Championship later on. We'll see what I happens. That. But Lee defeated Lashley by disqualification. He's the second guy to qualify for that triple threat match next week on Monday Night Raw. So far, we have Riddle and we have Keith Lee. Also, we've got to mention Survivor Series. Keith Lee debuted his new theme music. It's a lot better than the stuff they gave him, the generic ass music they gave him when he first showed up on Monday Night mm -hmm. Raw. It's not as good as his original NXT stuff, but at least he's rapping again in it or singing it again in it. So it's not that bad. Uh, better yeah. than what it was before. All right, next thing on the show Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross. Um, I, I, I like I like Bliss's new style, the new uh, look, her new wrestling, her new ring gear, all that yeah. stuff like that. She had a kind of an odd looking sister Abigail in this match to win it. It was kind of weird. Even the announcer was kind of like, oh, I guess that's a, ver a different version of sister Abigail. But it's just like a quick way for her to get it on. She put it on, hit uh, Nikki Cross with it, and gets the win here. And uh, yeah, Alexa Bliss is awesome in her new role. Without a shadow of a doubt, she is awesome in her new role. All right, let's get to the main event. You had AJ Styles going against Randy Orton. This is the third matchup in that for that triple threat spot next week. During the match, you have the lights. Well, actually, the uh, you have the fiend laughing in a distraction spot in the match, but nothing comes of it. Later on, the lights cut out. They turn red, and then. The Fiend surprises Randy Orton and distracts him. So AJ Styles get the phenomenal forearm and win the match. And so it will be three men for the triple threat match. It will be Riddle, Keith Lee, and AJ Styles. And guys, this is takeaway number two. Because The Fiend has set his eyes on Randy Orton. Yes, he did. And he seems to be keep the keeping him away from Drew McIntyre as WWE champion because I guess Drew McIntyre will have to deal with these three other competitors and also the Miz lurking in the yep. shadows he has money in the mm -hmm. bank so mm -hmm. it seems to be Randy versus the Fiend is where they're going and they're trying to keep the Fiend away from Drew McIntyre because most likely if that would happen they were to face each other the Fiend would have to end up winning that match because he don't want to take the Fiend to take the loss so he's setting his eyes on Randy Orton 
picking up the feud from a few years back when Randy burned down, you know, the the house where Sister Abigail was inside and all that stuff like that. So uh, reminiscing back toward uh, towards that stuff. So we're gonna get that now going forward. Yeah, um, great little segment. The match was what it was. Um, definitely, they're saving the Fiend. I think maybe for like the Royal Rumble, yeah. once that like like a bigger match, a bigger pay per view feel where Drew and, and him can have like that major feud instead of being at a TLC. And Randy and Bray is fun. They they have history, like you said. Uh, it's kind of unfinished business on Bray side, on the Fiend side. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely gonna be something interesting. Him and Randy should have some fun psychological stuff going on because Randy's also a psychological kind of predator dude and then this guy's just a freak of nature so it's gonna be fun to, to see those guys um aj styles makes the most sense obviously to go against drew i think they can have a bus a, a great match you know small smaller quick guy versus the big strong guy i feel like like they can have a great little you know chemistry in the ring and make some fun match out of it but definitely the one that everybody wants to see is the fiend against against uh uh drew drew mcfarnington yeah uh, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens but um this raw was really bad Really just uh, lazy, lazy raw. Three hours. You wasted three hours of my life. I never get back. So never going to forget that, WDB. <laughs> Step it up. Step it up. We can't be having these raws like after a pay-per-view and just completely falling flat. It's terrible. Yeah, big time fall fell flat. Also, no retribution on the show. They were not yeah. a Survivor Series. They're not a Monday Night Raw. This team is useless. Pointless. It's been doomed ever since the start. Just, what's the um, point just get what's just get rid point? of repackage everybody. Send guys back to NXT and just get it put over that, with. Put that right next to Raw Underground. Just yes, exactly. Away. Just throw it away just throw like he did Raw Underground. But yeah, I think out of that triple threat match next week, AJ Styles makes the most sense because he is the heel out of the three to face yep. Drew McIntyre. All three matches are gonna give him, all three guys are gonna give Drew McIntyre one hell of a matchup. The of most course. interesting one will be I think to me will be Matt Riddle versus Drew McIntyre in ring wise. I think I mean the most interesting clash of styles there, but. Obviously, you had uh, Keith Lee would have a, a crazy matchup with Drew McIntyre, and obviously AJ Styles will as well. But I think, yeah, you're right. AJ Styles probably going to win this because yeah. he is the only heel in the group, and he has been in the title picture for a you know a good amount of time. Yeah. yeah, and and the bro, the ultimate bro that doesn't know how to talk on the mic, or he doesn't know how to talk on the mic, or they're giving him crap to the. They're to, giving to him crap. They're giving him crap. So yeah. I can't really see him feuding with Drew and like it making any types of sense besides him saying bro and dope and bro and yeah. giving nicknames. So no need to see. He's not ready yet for the moment. In the ring, he's ready, but his promo skills need a lot of a lot more work. Yeah, they gotta get better writing for him. So at least yes, let him cut his own sure. shit or do some better writing. But guys, that's takeaway number two. That is the episode we have for you guys today. WWE, a little bit less of Adam Pierce, please, because he's a little bit too much right now. Yeah, a little bit too much place. of that guy. Yeah, it's a little bit too much like, of that guy. Geez. Drew McFart and uh, Drew Mc, yeah, Drew McInfart. That's what Mac he called him. Mm-hmm. Drew McInfart. Uh, we'll see who he faces after next week's triple threat match. But that's the show we got for you guys today. Appreciate you guys for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, comment on this video, share this video, and all that. Good Good stuff. Turn the notification bell. Hit all the links in the description section below. And without further ado, it was work your bro. Do not do the job. Later, Marks.